traditional quant model, as I said, are typically use very few predictors, very few factors. Um, you know, you might use a couple of technical indicators to decide your trade. You might use a few fundamental input, oh, earnings per share, or earnings of price, or um, the book to price ratio. You know, just a handful uh, will do. But in machine learning, we will use hundreds. We can pop, you know, we, we potentially will be using over 100 predictors to make that prediction. The traditional uh, quantitative model uses um, your traditional data, price, fundamentals, um, uh, because those are the only variables that uh, you know, a human can, can really manipulate or a mathematical model can manipulate. But the machine learning based model uses or can use alternative data. It, does, it doesn't have to, right? You know, so uh, don't, 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 um, misunderstand, don't misunderstand me. You, do not, you are not forced to use alternative data, but machine learning offers you the potential of incorporating alternative data, things such as new sentiment, credit card transaction record, even satellite imagery. Those data is very difficult. It is very difficult to build a mathematical model on them. But using machine learning, it is not difficult. It is part of the course to apply machine learning to those data. So it opens up an alternative data source for your trading strategy. Um, now, traditional quant model has an advantage that it is intuitive, but that is also a disadvantage because if it is intuitive, you are unlikely to be the only trader who has that intuition. You know, you, you, let's face it, none of us are that smart. <laughs> none of us are that genius that only we can see that, oh, the market goes up, uh, you know, when the earnings is good, the market goes up when the Fed decreases interest rate. You know, we are not the only one to know. So if there's an intuition, that is behind your trading idea, most likely other people, maybe 100 other people, maybe 1,000 other people are also have the same intuition. Now, of course, they will all implement it slightly differently, but nevertheless, the offer it is it is going to be eroded because it's easy to replicate. But for a machine learning system, it's different because with the same set of data, people, there are so many hyperparameters, so many different ways of implementing a machine learning system that the resulting model will still be very different. Same data will get you very different model. And so, and also, it is usually very hard to understand intuitively what the machine learning model is doing. You know, despite the, all these feature selection and interpretability uh, tools and, uh, you know, um, transparency tools, uh, it is typically still unintuitive how they connect. Why? Because they are nonlinear. The, the machine learning models are typically highly nonlinear. When you are dealing with highly nonlinear model, which involves the interaction between many different variables, a human cannot usually understand it. Um, but that's the actually that can be considered a bad thing. But the good side of that is that because nobody can understand it, it is difficult to replicate. Is no two people to, will get exactly the same machine learning model based on the same data. Okay, so um, there another uh, problem with the quant model that a traditional quant model is that it is very hard to assign probability to a trade of success to a trade, right? You know, no matter whether you build a um, linear factor model or a, mo a model based on uh, uh, some simple trading rules. You know, it, it can only tell you that, oh, historically, this is a sharp ratio of one, this is sharp ratio of two, and, uh, you know, historically, 75% chance of success of this trade, or your winning ratio is 61%, you know, whatever. But that is in aggregate, right? I mean, that, that, that's just like a summary statistic. Oh, on average, you're going to get 61% chance of success. But what about the, today's trade, right? Is today's trade also 61% chance of success, or is it going to be only 50 chance? percent chance of success. How do you assess the probability of success of today's trade without extra variables? Well, machine learning can, can provide that. Machine learning, because it takes into account variables outside of your original trading strategy, it might take into account hundreds of other variables, things such as the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, maybe the epidemiological model predicting how many new cases, uh, maybe how many tweets um, President Trump has made that day. You know, so all kinds of variables uh, that you can incorporate, which are not in your original trading strategy, but those variables altogether can assess a probability 
of whether today's trade will be successful. Every day you will assign a different probability. It's not like a summary of statistics like winning ratio that you can that 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 you can get from your traditional quant model. Okay. Um, traditional quant model uh, have fairly arbitrary capital allocation. Okay, the capital allocation typically based on the volatility of the position. You know, some things such as uh, uh, average true range or uh, historical volatility, um, the mean variance uh, portfolio um, optimization, and so forth. You know, correlation with other um, strategies that you have uh, in your portfolio is still very arbitrary because it is against is similar to a um, average statistics. It doesn't take into account your current situation. It only tells you, oh, on average, in the past 10 years, you should be allocating this much capital to this position. But machine learning, because it produces a probability every day, the probability changes every day, maybe even every minute, you can use that dynamic probability to assign capital to your new position based on the current situation in the market and indeed in the economy or indeed in the world as a whole. So that's a much more dynamic uh, capital allocation method that you can use if you have the help of machine learning. Now, one strong point of one great argument for sticking to traditional quant model is that because it's simple, it's hard to overfit. And machine learning model that is easy to overfit because it has so many moving parts. But some of the methods that we implemented with Hall and that I'm going to describe to you today are focused towards reducing this problem. Maybe not completely going to zero, but to reduce the issue of overfitting. Uh, that uses many of the recent advances in both machine learning in general and also specifically financial machine learning. So um, finally, in the traditional quant model, uh, it is very hard to generate a simulated backtest. That is to say, it is easy to use actual historical data uh, to um, and find out the, you know whether it's your string strategy is good or not right sub ratio of one okay good sub ratio of point two not good but that is full it, it it is sort of just one data point because history is not necessary necessarily going to repeat itself so where if you get a sub ratio of two in your back test most likely you're not going to get a sub ratio of two going forward most likely it's going to be lower uh, but sometimes it's even higher so what you obtain through a back test is just one data point and there is a lot of luck involved but with machine learning if your trading model is built based on machine learning um, by changing the random seed of your machine learning program you can easily generate multiple predictions you know every day the machine learning model uh, might generate slightly different prediction so you can generate a lot of different potential trades in history maybe a hundred different paths of your trades in history. And to applying a backtest to every one of them will get, will get you a more um, realistic, a more robust estimate of whether your trading strategy is actually going to work. Because it's not just based on one accident of history, but it is based on really a, um, an average of many possible history, many random replication of history. So that, is a one major um, advantage of machine learning based um, financial trading is that it allows you this uh, way of replicating history. Now you might think that uh, in, even in traditional quant model you can simulate many paths uh, by simulating the price process that a stock or whatever instrument can take. But that's actually very difficult because a lot of the arbitrage opportunities that a, a trader capitalize on they cannot be replicated by a simple time series simulation. They are not just taking into account, uh, they are not simply taking advantage of mean reversion or trending. They are taking advantage of specific seasonality of the trend, or they are taking of very complicated trading rule that is applied to replicate some specific market phenomenon. And that kind of stuff is very start hard to simulate. It is extremely difficult to simulate a realistic time series uh, that capture the particular anomaly or the particular seasonality that your trading strategy is trying to capitalize on. Okay, so but the machine learning based trading strategy uh, is 
not trying to replicate the underlying price process. They assume the same price process as happened in history. They don't believe that they can capture those anomalies any better. They're not trying to replicate it, but they are trying to create multiple strategies, right? Multiple, right? maybe 100 different variations of the strategy to see if all this, the average um, strategy can capture this kind of anomaly, right? So it's a different mentality. So in the traditional uh, quant finance, if you want to have a fair backtest, you have to replicate the price process maybe 100 times to create 100 simulated price series, yet all of them can capture some of the specific anomaly that your trading strategy is trying to capture. It's a very difficult process. I, I've, I have not seen anybody able to do it actually so far. The other one, which is the machine learning process is we trust the history. We only have one historical path. We don't believe that we can replicate it a hundred times, but we can build 100 strategies very easily by just switching the random seat and see if the average of those strategies generate a good sharp ratio. If it is able to generate good sharp ratio on the average, that means that it is not important the details of the strategy. The strategy detail can change a little bit, but uh, most of them can still capture that anomaly and profit from it. So that's the, uh, the view of using machine learning to, to build training strategy, and that's the, 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 that's the advantage of using that, uh, that view.